Hello everyone. Hope you all are doing good, great. And I welcome you once again to this learning session. Today I bring an interesting tutorial. Hope that it will be useful to everyone. We are going to make a custom calendar in Excel. So without further ado, let's get into the Excel. Normally this calendar is going to make it very easy to check any date of any year. Normally if you want to check an old date or, a, uh, or any future date, then you either trace the old calendar hanging in you, on your wall or open the calendar in the mobile app or if you are in computer then you open this calendar and check the date but you will find this is very time consuming when you compare it with the calendar which we are going to make in excel so let's start preparing let's take this uh, excel sheet the blank excel sheet here let's start the formatting okay what we are going to enter here uh, select the month then enter the year okay we are going to select the month which we are going to uh, see so here we are going to make a list to make a list we go to data tab and then click on data validation then select the input value as a list and then enter the name of the months so january make comma and december click OK now we will have the list here okay and then this will be date here uh, that cell we will be entering the date here so let's just select January and then 2024 okay and then the calendar will be displayed somewhere here so we need seven columns in a calendar so here Sun Sunday then using the autofill function we can drag just simply drag it up to saturday sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday and saturday okay and then here we will make the a calendar heading so let's merge this cell okay. then we are going to use two important formula to make this uh, custom table possible one is one is that value second one is sequence so that value is the function of excel which is going to convert any text string into date so we are going to select the date from this and this this is month and this is year so we are going to get that one so if equal to get a dead value then select the cell and concatenate this one and it is giving a number this number is nothing but the excel format we have to change this into a dead format so let's change the dead format press ctrl 1 and date here in the custom format we need month 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 and y y y y y month m m m m represents the full form of the month and y y y represents the 2024 instead of writing 24 if we write only y y then it will give you 24 only 20 will be hidden so we need this kind of formatting Okay, so it's giving January 2024. Let's see if we select May, it changed to May 2024. Okay, this one we can change to 2023. It's okay. Then another formula is a sequence. Sequence, and then we have to 
specify the number of rows and number of columns so number of rows obviously we need six and number of column is seven then what number we are going to start so we are going to start the date of may 2024 okay so i will just select it for the sake of understanding because it is not going to give the correct figure but still i want to do it so that you know why we are using the sequence formula so locked it and then start one then st uh, step one let's see what it is it is giving some numbers so this number let's convert into that format control one date okay we are going to change the custom format so we want the date only the date not the month not the year because year and date is already given in the heading so we only need the date of that month of the year so we will be applying dd only it will give you one two three four like this but imagine may it never starts it may be on may let's see on mars today this is the month of mars so i have the calendar in front of me let's check it so in the mars also it is still the same if i select this one august it is still the same it is not giving the actual figure we cannot simply put this date figure rather we have to put another formula to give the exact date value so c6 minus week this because we have to find out what date what week it is week day then week day will be given again this cell august 2024 what is the week day of august 2024 then and there is a format of week this like if we are giving one then it will show that the your week will start from sunday so here in our calendar first day is sunday sunday monday tuesday it is not starting the calendar is not in the format of monday tuesday wednesday if we are starting from sunday then we have to give one if we are starting the calendar is starting from monday then we have to give two for it to this variable return type okay so we are it is sunday from sunday so we will give one okay and then we are adding one and then this one now it is perfectly given see august 2024 let's see march 2024 so first date of the month march is friday that one is on friday so i have a calendar in front of me and let me confirm it yes it is on friday and 31st march is sunday so 31st march here is sunday but still we are getting this extra figure this extra figure and this extra dates this extra date is not nothing but it is a date of february and this is for the month of april now this formula is already set and this is perfectly fine but we should be hiding these figures of the previous month and this figure of the next month so to do that what we need to do is we have to apply some conditional formatting okay so to do conditional formatting go to home tab and click on conditional formatting click on new rule then select use a formula to determine which cells to format okay here we will be entering a formula we are comparing we are trying going to compare the value of these cells with the value of this so here the month c it is c8 c8 is not equal to month then we are going to hide this one font this one fill this one it is already hidden it is not deleted but it is hidden so let's check the another one may so automatically it is hidden 
what it is doing we are checking that this date whether this date or this month the date of this month because here we are showing only uh, date but if we change this format let's go to uh, formatting dd mmm okay see so here it is may may so let's remove the formatting also so that we can see manage rules let's delete it apply okay see it is comparing that this cell and this cell we are going to compare and checking that this day is of the same month or not this is may and this is april this is may and this is june so we are comparing it if it is not matching if it is not may this is may and this is also may so both are may then it will remain if it is not may then it will not be shown here that is the conditional formatting we are applying here so select again go to conditional formatting new rule use the formula compare it, enter this formula month c8 not equal to month then this date then format it fill white and phone also white okay and okay now it has already hidden let's change the formatting go to here and then just put dt only so it is showing only the date height and year is already hidden and this column is sunday and normally in sunday uh, on sunday we used to uh, apply the text a red color so we want to apply the red color if the date is on sunday so we have to apply another conditional formatting just select this one okay and then go to conditional formatting new rule then enter this formula we are going to select this one equal to checking if it is sunday so under inverted comma sunday and then if it is sunday then uh, font color should be red and make it also bold okay and then okay now it is showing everything even 28 is also showing 2 is also showing because this condition formatting is overlying means overriding the previous conditional formatting we have already applied conditional formatting here to hide the date of previous day month and future month but that condition has been overridden overwritten by this one so we have to arrange the form, uh, conditional formatting here manage the rule so bring this one to downwards and then also check stop if true then it will go like this now let's change this one to august so automatically is changing april changing let's see december is changing so perfectly it is working yeah so let's make some formatting to look it good bold make it 20 let's change the DA format also here this one also this one and then this one just like this make some formatting this also make some color And then apply the bordering now it is perfectly fine let's delete this one and change the color text color to white white 
also white this is not good in white so let's even give it as a black now it's okay now i need to change only here zoom it will change automatically and then october change automatically so if i want to see for 1950 it will also show so i hope you like it and it will be useful in your day-to-day -day life you can uh, download this excel uh, file from the description and you can keep on your desktop anytime you want to check instead of you going and checking the date from here because here you need to scroll down to select the date month like this many times but here you can simply put 2022 if you want to see 2020 go to 2020 then that's it so you place this file in on your desktop and then open and use for your convenience and uh, if you feel that this tutorial is good for you at least as a token of appreciation please like and also give your valuable comment as a feedback and i will try to bring more and more useful tutorials for you guys and thank you bye bye